the jungle, a dangerous place full of danger. Danger that's dangerous at every turn of danger. One man keeps it safe. One man protects all animals. One man wears a loincloth because pants are hard, combs his hair with a stick, and doesn't get doors. That man is a king. That man is... George! George of Jungle! Oh, nice. Very nice. That was my line. Uh... And watch out for the tree. Being the king of the jungle means there's no time for three square meals a day. So what's a peckish man in a leopard skin to do? Hey, what you call George? Lucky for Mr. Sensitive here, there's fruit on every tree. Nutritious grubs on every leaf. <laughs> and whatever that thing is. I is, is that mayonnaise? Wow. Ooh, jar food! Wait, George, stop! That could have been there for years! <laughs> oh, this Prussian mayonnaise is a little off. Like the Kaiser, eh? Devilish charm, Cecil. Now stop being such a Spaniard and give it a heave-ho! <laughs> <laughs> you throw like a Frenchman. <laughs> See? Taste so good. Not only does it not taste so good, but it holds a surprise for our king of the jungle. George. Now, there's a seven rhino pile up on the... Belly oh. say, need snack first. Eek, uh, ookook. Oh, George, we live in a salad bar. I don't know why you'd eat a double beef burrito with banana cheese sauce. George, hungry. Twas not I. Eek, ookook. Uh, eek, ookook. Belly, how could you? Artoon! You are like a zeppelin, you have so much gas! No burritos! Hey, come out and say that to face! Ow! George, I don't think that's your stomach talking. Oh, the plane will be rough now! Stop on Hey! That's my arm! Ow! Well, looks pretty normal to me. Oh, okay. George, you've got a doozy of a parasite. That's a grade A gut worm right there. Is correct, Flash Houses, and my name is Sleepy. George, want worm gone now? Sorry, nope, no can do. But I, King, I order you. Kaiser of Das Jungle? <laughs> yes, I love! <laughs> George, as King, you swore an oath to protect all jungle creatures, even parasites. But Slippy, not real animal. He not even have legs. <clears throat> oh, no offense, Bernard. <laughs> Legs or no legs, Slippy's still an animal. George, not leave until Dr. Fix worm. 
suits me. I've been wanting to talk to you about your unpaid bill. <laughs> <sighs> George, ignore Slippy. He not worth Jungle King's time. King has important animals to save, like lion, elephant, and pink horses with horn in middle of heads. George, we've been through this. Unicorns are imaginary. They told me you say that. Yes. Yes, we did. Save you! This place is so mess! Maybe if I move that over there. Grab hands! Yeah, ah, don't touch me! I'm cool! I swear! But quicksand! And then that over there? Who oh, is this over here? Uh, mm -hmm. false alarm! Uh, I'm good! I'm so good. Oh. Huh, what his problem? Wonderful! You're so safe now! Slippy! Stop! Um, Magnolia! Um, ape! Um, George, not do this! Um, um. This is what I wanted you to see. Jump! Worm! You ruined George's life! Worst animal ever! That's picnic, you are not either! You smell worse on the inside! You called in the right scientist. I moderate three internet forums on parasites, so I'll have that prize-winning specimen out in a jiffy. With science! See? We offer the worm a better place to live, and Slip Slop Glork, he's somebody else's problem. Nine! Too round! Nine! Too springy! Nine! Two eighties! Nine! Two! Life is tough inside a snake. It's a snaky place full of snake, with snake at every turn. George, 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 and a big snake lost as he can be. Watch out for that swing! George, 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 and a big snake is wet and soft and pink. It really kind of stinks. When he made a mistake, he was eaten by a snake. Along with his friends, there's no escape. Then away he'll swing on some gross thing. Whatever it is, it isn't a string. George, 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 and a big snake. Why it isn't me? George, we found a whole mango tree growing near the lungs. I don't know how it grew without sunshine or dirt or water, but hey, don't look a snake fruit in a snake mouth, right? Have you found a way out yet? Uh, George did not find anything. Nope, not George. No, no. Slither left, activating his shedding skin. Pink horses with there. horn in middle of head. Hi! Now, George, I thought we had an understanding. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Gas quake! You can cover me! George, there's always an after belch. Not so fun when you eat that parasite, huh? Uh, get your ball, George, in here. Say no. George never realized how hard it'd be to live inside animal. Slippy living inside jungle, just like animals living outside jungle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is nice thought, but not the lesson. Play again! Ow, uh, Slippy real animal. Keep going. Even if Slippy all wet and not have legs? Yeah, okay, close enough. 
George, sorry for treating Slippy no good. That's okay. Now we can leave. Wait. You know way out of Snake. That's handy and completely incomprehensible. All animals have this emergency exit. Women and scientists first! <laughs> oh, something that doesn't smell like Snake. Ah, Slippy want back in, George? George be proud to have Slippy in stomach. No, mine work is complete. George is now better jungle kaiser. <laughs> George missed you, Slippy. <laughs> no need. I make eggs in all your mouths last night. Good tag. <laughs> Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George, the sloth, the baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look, oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth, hmm? Slot, 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 uh, slot green. Slot have scale. It's the brown one with fur. George save slot. Yeah. Uh. Both the grease monkey clan and the stink badgerino <laughs> think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feels much better, but cave kinda messy. Very nice. Now where are they going to live? George loves having house guests. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab... Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious, that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! Yay! Oh, yay! You're probably thinking, what is that? That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but mm, sometimes things don't work out how you imagine. Behold! What? Puppies? Kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Ha! George like to see that. <laughs> oh. At least we destroy machine. Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. You always leap before you look. Uh, when we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit. Ha. Oh, Ape, you funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. <laughs> Okay, George, try harder. George, be better. George promised to change. 
Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. There's only two things you need to know about bitey, bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they... Whoa, wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But, uh, George promised he'd change. You did. And our little friend... Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this... I truly apologize. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, I ape think this best. <laughs> now he tickles again. <laughs> oh! Anteater. Ah! Say the word. But, but George saved Sloth and Eagle Baby and Swing good on fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George no wanna. Say it. And. <laughs> George, George, George. There's an insect on your eyeball. And eater. Ew. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Uh, um, <laughs> 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 thought I'd drop in and... Ah! What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? Really? Ah! George, jungle spirit scared way. Huh. See? George normally tried to escape. He's fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um... Hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Antita. 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 Antita! Dookie dookie! Dookie dookie! Fine. We'll take him to the witch doctor. But there's no way this is my fault. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. <laughs> He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it's his jungle duties. So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mill! <laughs> Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. 
Pooch, wake up. Time to come back. George, stop. Oh, man. Sorry, George. What's wrong? Hey, Nut. Hurt, George? Hurt you? No, I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Is that pretty big ape? Antita! Antita! That thing, that's me. No. That big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, ape. It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> Give a Yay! Yay! <laughs> you want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Oh, your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He stalks the jungle, totally weirding out its inhabitants. He's terrified, yet also strangely hilarious. What manner of horrific beach ball-like creature could this be? It's George, everybody's favorite jungle king. He's just come down with a bad case of acute puffitis. Didn't even know it was real until now. But hey, that's life in crazy town. But how did George catch such a rare and ungainly disease? Was it a bite from that vampire puffer fish? Did he catch it from that overly affectionate puffin? Or maybe that hostile tribe of puffy pillows? You got me, but I'll run some tests. Until then, stay away from anything, Charlie. And do not go to the beach. Come, George. Let's get you home to rest. No, ape! A coop poop is no stop king of jungle! Who? George, prove he'd still be good king! Oh, George need breeze! Little did George suspect, but he was being watched by the all-knowing and stylish Council of Apes! The king is far too round to protect the jungle! We must take action! Time to summon the Steve. Yes, the Steve. I'm his target. Can we go back to talking? No, we use telepathy because your breath smells like zebra cheese. That was me. Can't we just summon the Steve already? <laughs> you wreck your own planet, space rocks. This moment would never come. Steve, the jungle needs you. You are our only hope. I know. You need to rest, George. Yes, we have summoned the Steve to take over your duties while you heal. The Steve? Wait. Who's Steve? And what you mean, take over? Oh. Yes, they 
first having is awesome. I would normally introduce myself, but... Oh, can I? This handsome devil is Steve. A jungle orphan like George, Steve was raised by apes, but left the jungle when he was still young. Steve became the most successful person ever. Three countries, two continents, and the moon were named after him. Don't you mean the Steve? It's time to put the team back together, Ape. Ape and Steve know each other? Ape and I go way back. We're best friends and even better partners. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Don't you worry, George. Just think of me as a better version of you. Come on, Ape, there's a jungle to rumble. Steve, I really do. No, George King, George Vine. George, show everyone. Uh. Oh, turkey, turkey. Glorious! <laughs> Just like I remember. You're not upset about. Ha! Ape, please, do I look like someone with a burning desire for revenge? My only burning desire is to protect this jungle. But first, time to take this place to the cleanest. Steve, stop! You'll flood the entire jungle! Ah! Much better. Oh. That the old girl could use a little sparkle. Look what happened? It was Steve. He destroyed everything. We have to stop. And replaced it with this. Now I can charge triple. Just showing my appreciation for the fine work you do, Doc. <laughs> Serves me right for standing too close. Is it possible? Have I misjudged Steve? Hmm. Where did everybody go? Hello? 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 Steve, what's he done to? Steve! Huh? <laughs> Steve flew this water park in just for the day. Can you believe it? Ursula, speak fast! Steve Good King! Tell George that Steve Bad King! Tell George that animals want George back! I can't believe I'm saying this, but Steve's doing a fine job. Stop that noise! Oh, yes. Steve very good. Maybe he should be king. That's just it. He was supposed to be. Years ago, I trained Steve in the ways of the jungle. He was smart. He was brave. He was strong. But he was also a jerk. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> I thought it was my fault that I had failed Steve as his mentor. Until we discovered he'd been born with an angry weasel for a heart. I didn't know what to do. But then, in the great orphan storm of 99, that's when I found George. And I knew he'd be a good king. Plus, the council always had a weakness for the newest fads, like taco manicures or zebra shoes. And you couldn't get any newer than George. <laughs> Steve was forgotten. Until now. But it appears he's not the weasel-hearted man I thought he was. George, Ape's second choice? George, I brought you to the council because I believe there's more to a jungle king than being a fantastic, beloved, effective, handsome, natural leader. That does sound quite weak when I say it out loud. No, no! George proved that he's good king and first choice! George saved many lions! Gotcha! Oh now, save your applause! 
I only did what any other amazing jungle king would do. Now you can applaud. Steve, best king ever. George, go. Anyone here, George? Please, you're making me blush. George, leave now. Forever. George? George! George! I found out why George got sick. Someone hit him with his blowgun dart, and it's poisoned with pufferfish puffin pillow venom. Oh, come on. Like, we're supposed to remember you finding that thing? It was like 10 years ago, and I wasn't even there. Hmm. <gasps> Steve! Hold on. Steve hit George with that? From space? He was always good with the blowgun. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> so, you finally figured it out. Ape was right. I totally want revenge. I mean, duh. Of course you'll all suffer for tossing me aside. What did you do with George? Besides utterly destroy his self-worth and make him leave in disgrace? What did you expect from a man with a weasel for a heart? You think I'm good with a blowgun? I'm even better at networking. Get it? <laughs> this good net! Your treachery will never succeed! I know your secret. Without your bananas, you are nothing. Nothing! Steve, this was your home. Think about what you're doing! Oh, I have. For years. Do you think this kind of revenge happens by accident? Now, who's going in first? <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> George! Let George's friends go! You think you're a match for the Steve? I'm worth trillions! I have my own spaceship! I've even walked on the surface of the Steve! <laughs> Steve, better spaceman, better looking, maybe even better king, but George, better crushy ball! George! No! No! Wait! Anybody bring Grace? What was Steve's fate? He fell in lava. Or maybe not. George not pay attention. That's dramatically convenient. George, even though you thought you were worthless, you returned and saved your friends. Actually, George come back after George saw scary men in jungle. Welcome back, King of the Jungle. I guess hugs will just have to wait till you're better. <laughs> Waiting for sissy. <laughs> so good. Friends, where would we be without them? Always there in times of need, never judging, forever supportive. Blah, blah, blah. But most importantly of all, true friends would never, ever tell each other the cold, hard truth. Say something to him. George no want to hurt ape feelings. Magnolia, tell ape. No way. Ursula? Ursula, ask him. Then we all run away. No, George like ape. Only hate ape cooking. I hope you all brought your appetites. I've been toiling in the kitchen all day to make everyone's favorite dish, my jungle jelly surprise. From these hands to your stomachs and then to all of our hearts. Can George have hot sauce? Hmm, I suppose. One moment. <laughs> oh, good idea. Magnolia's smart. Oh, please. You got Ape out of the room with that hot sauce idea. Come on. George just wants sauce to burn tongue, so George no taste jelly. It's like stink badger. Eat skunk, then bleh on plate. One bottle of hot sauce. Mm. Oh, so good, we not wait for sauce. Wish there was more. Oh dear, I'm afraid I didn't have the foresight to prepare seconds. Ah! Say it isn't so. No need 
to cry, my friends. I'll simply get started on my biggest batch ever. Why, we always go overboard. <laughs> It's heartwarming what true friends will do for one another, isn't it? Meanwhile, out among the stars, a lone extraterrestrial is in dire need of a friend. But this isn't any run-of-the-mill extraterrestrial. Poor Carl. He thinks he's found a remote outpost of his own kind. Yes, his name is Carl. Narrators know things like this. He's a Jalisian from the Gelati Quadrant. And this is what's known as a Jalisian mind mode, by which he can share his thoughts and knowledge. Magnolia? Hmm, this looks like one of my... <laughs> Keep your lightning bolts off me, you darn dirty jellies! And so, George and his friends were press jellied into building a huge... Uh, something for the now intelligent and ornery desserts. Jungle Jelly surprise, he no kidding. How could they be alive? I mean, what's in that recipe? The more puzzling question is, where did they all come from? Ape make them all. <gasps> but you ate all my jellies, remember? Oh, that is tough one. We can worry about wherever they came from after we're free. The solution to our plight is simple, my friends. We shall band together and eat our jelly overlords. <laughs> There has got to be another way! No worry! George set jungle free! Before <laughs> Ape learned truth! <laughs> Hold on! I know I've got something in here about fighting aliens! Ah, got it! <laughs> Just make jellies more angry! And make more jellies! Only one thing we can do! You mean... Yes, eat. Why do you keep doing that whenever somebody mentions eating jellies? Luckily, before anyone has to tell Ape the terrible truth, something even more terrible happens. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Great 
shaped. The jellies had us building a gigantic vegetable steamer. These uh, asparagi wouldn't have stood a chance against it. Oh, too bad we smashed it. Maybe Carl come in spaceship that crashed a couple nights ago. You saw a UFO crash land in the jungle and you didn't tell anybody? George afraid you say he crazy. We never say. No, George right. He say he see flying saucer meet uh, him with club. Please, please, please have answers. Oh. I was kind of hoping for some alien super weapons. I record this sad tale as a warning to others. For millennia, my kind lived in peace and prosperity. But we didn't have the heart to tell our cooks that we hated their specialty, asparagus surprise. Instead of eating it, we hid it. As the eons passed, the asparagus evolved. Like so many leftovers that had never been refrigerated, they turned evil. They spread their disgusting texture, bitter taste, and startling effect on urine across the galaxy. As the last of my kind, I ask all beings to forgive us for creating such monsters. What? But if Kong was the last of his kind, where did all those extra jellies come from? Oh, jellies not extra. They yours. We, we all hate, hate Uncle jungle Jerry jelly surprise. surprise. Why didn't you say so? Do you have any idea how much I hate making jungle jelly surprise? The main ingredient is wildebeest hooves, and providing them with running shoes in exchange is driving me bankrupt. I only made jungle jelly surprise because you all said you loved it. And, well, because... Oh, because you love us! We all hug his group now! We sorry. We no tell truth because we no want hurt ape feelings. Wow! If only we told each other the truth, none of this would have happened. That's what real friends do. We lie to one another. Arr! Enough hug! Break up or me start clubbing! So, we're all good then? Except for aliens invading jungle. Should really get on that. Right. And their only weakness is their edible. Yeah. George will need a lot of hot sauce. Eat another bite. Oh. oh, alien aftertaste worse. Oh, oh, he's right. Uh. Those guys were disgusting. Almost as disgusting as apes. Right? Sorry. We are Sundacons from Sector Sprinkle here to enslave you. Maybe George have room for dessert. Oh. 